Jeff Thunberg. I am the co-owner of Whitey's Ice Cream in the Quad Cities. When I was uh, three years old and my brother was six months old, our parents bought Whitey's Ice Cream from Chester Lindgren, whose nickname was Whitey. He was a tall, white, blonde Swede. And um, my dad had worked for him as a teenager himself. Well, in, in high school, um, obviously we started out working at Whitey's, picking up trash in the parking lot, putting lids on Dixie Cups, uh, waiting on customers, and eventually making ice cream. Um, even before we were in high school. So uh, in high school then I found, uh, I took a bookkeeping class and the teacher was very encouraging and said, uh, if there's anybody in this class that's gonna be a CPA, it's gonna be Thunberg. And so I said, well, maybe I've got a gift for accounting. So when I went to Augustana, I decided to major in accounting and business administration, um, thinking that if I did go in the ice cream business, that would be helpful. And if I didn't, uh, I could probably get a job at John Deere, which is what I did. The credit for bringing me out of my shell, um, uh, meeting kids from all over the Midwest, most of them from Chicago <laughs> at the time, but uh, also it, uh, I got involved socially where I was less likely to do so in high school and uh, with the fraternity life and, uh, and the sorority thing and all that stuff, it uh, became a cheerleader. And, got on different committees, uh, head, headed up Friendship Fair in 1971 uh, with another friend. And so I, I just kind of really came out of my shell there. And uh, some people probably wished I'd gone back in to the shell, but no, it, it was just a, a great, it was the best four years of my life up until that point. I would say just the uh, confidence in being able to talk to adults, uh, vendors, salespeople, customers, um, it just, kind of gave you an internal, not a cockiness, but a confidence that uh, I can talk to you because I went to Augustana College. <laughs> we uh, combined with Augustana to create a flavor for their 150th anniversary. And then we broke the Guinness Book of World Records by serving the most number of people ice cream at the same time at Erickson Field. It was a fantastic experience. You never see a sad person with an ice cream cone is what my father was known to saying, and I believe it's true.